Now let's take a look at installing certificate services. This is really a piece of cake. We'll click on Start. Then we'll go to Administrative Tools. We will then go to Server Manager. We'll let this open and we're going to add a role. So I will just simply go down to Roles here. Then I will choose Add a Role and I will hit next and you're going to see right up here in our list Active Directory Certificate Services so I will check that and notice it's telling me what I'm going to go through here and I will say next and you can read all this stuff you need to do this on your own also but notice right here on the third screen or the fourth screen this is where we're going to choose the roles for the services that we want Active Directory Certificate Services to carry out. The Certification Authority it will issue and manage certificates. We can set up the web enrollment, the online responder. This makes uh, revocation list checking a lot more specialized or detailed or pointed for the end user. And then the uh, device enrollment service, which we talked about in a separate video, which will, we can use to generate certificates for our routers and other network devices. We'll just go with Certification Authority. You'll notice it's going to ask us, is this an enterprise server? Is it a member of a domain, can use Active Directory, or is it a standalone? If it doesn't, and notice a standalone can be a member of a domain, well, we'll just go with uh, enterprise here. And notice, is it a root CA or a subordinate? Root meaning, is this the first one? Or is this going to be the only certification authority? Now, you want to stay away from only certification authorities. All your eggs are in one basket. And if you get compromised, you're in trouble. So watch for that on the exam. You want to go into a multiple level type situation. Is this a subordinate? If your CA will obtain its CA certificate from another CA higher. So I'd create the root first, and then I would come back in and begin to create my subordinates. Again, you can go back to the video on certificate authorities and see what we're talking about there. And I will just do root CA. Do you want to create a new private key? Or do you want to uh, use one that you already have? Because we're reinstalling one. And so you have some choices there. We will create a new one. We will click Next. It's going to ask for the hash algorithm, the cryptographic service provider, the key length. We'll just take defaults there. You want to read up about those before you go take the exam. Again, you want to read about everything. Notice here's the common name for this CA. We'll just take defaults. We're going to set this for 20 years like I had in my earlier video. This is where the certification database will be. This is the confirmation of everything we told it. And so notice now this thing is going to click and hum a few minutes and it's going to install certificate services. And at that point we will be able to uh, issue certificates that users can apply to things. You will notice that I haven't gone out to VeriSign or one of the other companies and secured a third-party recognizable certificate. Those certificates like VeriSigns and all those, part of their key signature is automatically stored in the browser. So if I get a certificate from VeriSign and apply it to my certificate server, then any certificates that I generate will kind of have that VeriSign fingerprint on them and their browsers will realize, hey, this guy issued the certificate to me, but he has been authenticated through VeriSign, so I have reasonable assurance that he's okay, and I have a, a path of retribution there. That's what we're getting into here. So, as you can see, this is going to click and hum for a few minutes. And what I'm going to do at this point is pause the video and come back and join you when the, this installation is finally completed. So, you see here, we have completed. We have installed Certification Authority. It took maybe a minute, minute and a half past the time that originally paused during the video. So installation was successful. So what we'll do now, we will close this. And now let's go out to Start. And if we go to Administrative Tools, you will now notice Certification Authority. MMC is out here. We will open that up. And you will notice that we can now start to administer uh, this particular certificate authority. And you'll notice we can see our revoked certificates, which we have none. We haven't issued any certificates, any pending requests, failed requests, and then of course our certificate templates. 
we're up and running now. Everything seems to look fine, and we'll dig into a couple of other little issues here in different videos.